Jewish, Christian and Muslim dialogue has been around since the dawn of time. Every religion that was newly formed tried to establish contact with the former. So, in the same way as we believe that all are as our brothers in faith, then this dialogue exists since the earliest of times from the Bible to the later teachings of the Quran. Dialogue in human relationships is the most important essence of the functioning of a good positive part of the human being, which coexists between each other. This dialogue is always evident. Of course, sometimes it is disturbed and this arouses anxiety. For instance, Tatars in Poland are currently in Suchowola, an area near Białystok, where before the war it was inhabited by about 40% of the Jewish population. There was a very large community there and there was also a synagogue. Later times changed, where now Tatars and Polish Muslims live but they haven't forgotten those who were there earlier. There, at the present moment, for example, we are building a Muslim cultural center. But where on exhibition boards there are also photos with friends, with colleagues of pre-war Polish Tatars and also of Jewish community, this shows that dialogue has always existed amongst people. Indicating places that later became depopulated of other communities, but showing that yet they existed, that people met and respected each other. On Saturday, the Sabbath, other communities and other faiths also respected this day. My family, of course, is also from Suchowola. It perfectly remembers the pre-war times when communities, Christian, Jewish and Muslim, met in so-called benches, small areas near home, where they passed to each other information about what is going on, discussed matters and this was something normal. Muslims, for example, bought food, especially kosher meat, from the Jewish community. Whereas from the Jewish side, they worked on the tanneries amongst the Tatar Muslim community. These relationships were also normal, and such relationships we expect all the time. There are sometimes difficult situations that need combating, which need to be first and foremost quickly and smoothly defeated. There are difficulties when misunderstandings arise, but it is most important that man should constantly rise above all conflicts, always return to God the Creator, who wanted all to exist together, for every religion to be respected, to be important, and for us to work together. God did not want war or injustice between us, and this teaching for dialogue between the different religious groups to exist and to be passed on primarily through education of children and youth in the organization of exhibitions, concerts and other meetings which give us the feeling of this community, this crucible between religions, ethical and national, that we meet and can participate in life in social life, even in political life, but most importantly, and this my mother also always remembered, that most important are those inter-human relationships, because if these are positive, then there is no conflict in these relationships. Then life between people will always be made and there will be no unpleasantness due to religion or ethnicity or also other origin. It is important also to remember our ancestors, those who were before us, so that they may be immortalized, that these nations indeed existed, not to forget that even if a cemetery has been abandoned, it can be wrecked or destroyed 
or stamped out. No, such cemeteries need to be taken care of since our ancestors are buried there. They created the communities, nations, and these people meant well. Unfortunately, a situation is sometimes difficult, but these people must be remembered since they were the ones who formed not only religious communities, but especially social ones for the good of a given place, region and country. We should respect each other, not only because of religion, but because of humanity, humanity as man, not even looking from a religious point of view, because man is that being that is rational, which means that he has a brain. God gave a brain to him, to have the opportunity to distinguish between evil and good and good and evil. Dialogue between the various religions is important in order to avoid misunderstandings and wars. Let us create communities of nations, religious communities, so that together we will be able to survive and live.